Hey, thank you, Scentbird. By you sponsoring this video, it allows us to keep Grandma's tradition alive of using the proceeds from videos to help charities. We really appreciate you. Boom! Oh! <laughs> Silly. <laughs> that was a delayed reaction. I was like, oh. <laughs> when I get scared, oh my gosh, mom, I have to tell you something so embarrassing. What? This was so embarrassing. Okay. Have you ever seen me get really scared what I do? Uh, yeah. What do I do? Uh, you clap your hands. I do. I clap my hands. <laughs> I don't like a damn seal. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. I was uh, visiting somebody yesterday and they live in an apartment building uh -huh. and I was going out to like go down to like the hallway to like get into the elevator and I opened up this door to the stairway and when I opened up the door there was somebody and I don't know why I didn't expect to see somebody I just wasn't <laughs> there and I opened up the door and there was a guy standing right there when I opened up the door Ooh. and I jumped up and down started and started clapping <laughs> like a like a sea lion <laughs> well that's what you do and then he took three steps backwards down the stairs because he thought i was a crazy person <laughs> yeah and so he was so worried about me i was so embarrassed mom that way you should be oh i was so loved. i don't know why i do that i don't know why when i get scared i i'm a jump clap kick <laughs> kind of guy yeah i but you know when you're really concentrating on something what do you do uh, stick my tongue out yes I bite your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> or i smile yeah, yeah i make that like everybody always makes that face at me that like your teeth show yeah ooh, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> ooh. it's awful <laughs> hi i'm miss red <laughs> well speaking of all the teeth you you're the queen of teeth show of what the queen of teeth show Look at all your teeth. Man, you were hardcore on us. Like, the one thing that anybody needs to know is, you know how, like, in Mommy Dearest, it was like, wire hangers? They're wire hangers. You were like, did you floss every, between every single tooth <laughs> for an hour? No, I wasn't. <laughs> you bad. were. No. I've had compliments on my smile and my teeth my whole life. Because and they were like, wow, well, you're, you're I'm like, have you met my mother? And like, they, you were obsessed with having good teeth. Yes. Yes. I always will. I know. Anyway. Everybody um, should take care of their teeth. Well, some people can't afford to take care of their teeth. Well. The dentist is expensive. Well, you can brush them. Right, but that doesn't stop cavities and crooked and buck teeth and there's all kinds of oh, things. Oh, yeah. I'll you, focus on my teeth. I chipped my tooth. You did? Yeah. Let me zoom in. Mom, I, we'll go get it fixed. Well, I haven't had time. Oh, why? What have you been doing? My garden. Your garden? Yes, it keeps me so busy. Well, what are you doing with your garden? Well, I'm pulling weeds because I was... Sounds like a beautiful garden, Mom. <laughs> well, I was busy. I was sick. I was traveling. I just, I couldn't attend to my garden. Oh, is it better now? Is it all done? No. No? No. Well, why don't you just hire a gardener? No. They well, mess up everything. Well, sounds like you do too. You let it get all full of weeds. Well, that wasn't on purpose, but they do it on purpose. <laughs> they do it on purpose. I'm surprised the trees aren't leaning over because he's almost got the bottoms cut in the middle. I mean, it looks like they're going to fall down because they're so cut on the bottom. Oh, they are not. They are not. You know... This is the time of year, spring, beginning of summer, that I really, really think of Grandma. This is, this will be, this is the first spring without her. Yeah. And um, she loved flowers. Yeah. She loved trees. Yes. She would want to go grab a cup of coffee. We would go to the drive-through. She hated Starbucks. She thought it was too strong. She would get coffee. And then we would, she would want to take a drive around all the neighborhoods in California and look at all the trees, everybody's gates, and everyone's flowers. She was just nosy. No, she <laughs> loved it. She would sit there. Sometimes we'd be filming, and she would just get lost and thought I'd be like, hello. And she's like, well, you look at that tree. Isn't that the most beautiful tree, or isn't that the ugliest tree you've ever seen? <laughs> you know, and, and she, would, she would fixate on, on she loved, gates. loved. 
dates and she loved trees that flowered that bloomed yeah. she got just a kick out of all when the trees would turn purple and and pink here she loved the she loved this neighborhood that's why i feel sad because my garden you know it was pretty immature and now it's matured so much and she loved going out there and looking at the flowers you know she planted a flower out in front of pete's door my I brother know. And it didn't grow for two years. Yeah. And now it's this big, big, tall flowering, little. beautiful, tall, flowering thing. It's beautiful. It is. And uh, and he, he named it Doris. <laughs> he called Maybe. it. Yeah, he's like, that's Doris. I was like, what are you doing? He goes, I'm watering Doris. Aww. So he, he named it after grandma, Aww. which is really nice. I, I didn't, it doesn't smell like anything. I don't know what kind of a flower it is, but it's, it's beautiful. It's nice. Now I think of grandma when I see it. Yeah. So now you've got, you're, you both got me acting crazy. Now, I, every time I walk into the house, his house, I'm like, hi, grandma, to a flower. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then I walk into her room and it's like, hi, grandma. And then you every day spray different perfumes in there. Yes. Every day there's a different smell in there. Yes. Those are those scent birds, right? That's what she loved so much. She. And her diamonds whatever oh white diamonds yes. it was so funny because she was always chanel 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 it was like she would buy coco or gabrielle or number five and she would all and then when we started the scent birds then all of a sudden she, was she like, gave them to me yeah she gave you all the chanel <laughs> yeah. and then she started trying all the different ones yes. and um and so we're going to do something for Scentbird again today in this video we're going to talk about Scentbird because the reason i want to do that is one of the perfumes really smell like grandma. It was this one, which was, um, Catherine Malandrino Violet Gem. That was the thing about grandma. She really liked sweet perfumes. Yes, and I didn't. Let's see. Oh, I can't see it. Oh, come on. Okay, so this is this one. These are, I keep forgetting how big they are. These Aren't are they wonderful? <laughs> like a sample. Yeah. I mean, like a real perfume. Yeah, they're big. So let me smell it. Okay, 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 okay. You always do that. Oh, bomb. <laughs> oh. It does smell like grandma. Yes. Mm, it kind of smells like hairspray to me. No, it does not. A little bit. No. A little bit. No. <laughs> <laughs> it smells good. I think I I associate grandma with this smell, but I also associate grandma with the smell of hairspray because she would always... <laughs> you know what? What? When I was working in my garden one day, yeah. I, I smelled her. I thought, is it my flowers? Because... Geraniums don't smell like that. Really? And I thought, what is this? And I went into the house for some reason. I thought she might be in there. Oh, Mom. But it wasn't her. But I smelled that. This. It, it's. That is crazy. That does smell like her a I lot. Know, I love this. I cherish this. What's the other one smell like? Let's see. What is the other one? This is um, Dolce. Uh, Dolce. Dolce and Gabbana Dolce. Yes. Well, that's easy to say. Okay, let's spray. Hey, but, easy. Easy, easy. Okay. Well, Mom, now I can't even smell it towards me. Not on me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that smells like Grandma, too. Wait, that's the one that smells like Grandma. You think that one does? I think the other one does more. No, I think that one smells like grandma. Well, that was one of her favorite, very favorite. She wore this one, actually. This is... Yeah. Wow. That's mm. why they were still in the car. Mmm. Oh, let me see the, the paper that it came with. What is this? That's a gem. Let me see. This one, it says... Sugar boy. Again, another sweet one. She definitely wore the sweet ones. Yes. And I like the soft. Mm-hmm. 
Um, you're still happy with this, the uh, Scentbird? Of course. <laughs> you love it? You still want to continue it? Yes. So you guys already know, Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service, and it allows you to try a new designer fragrance each month for just $17. So each bottle lasts about 30 days, and then you get to try that new fragrance before committing to a full-size bottle. They have 600 designer brands to choose from. They have like really expensive designer brands, and then they have all the way down to like really cool indie labels. But we're loving it. So if you guys want to do it too, uh, we'll put a link in the bio. I'm going to have to check with them. But it was 55% off your first order, which is like $8 a month. That's good. Yeah, it's good. It's a good deal. And even though, and then even if it's the full price, it's a good deal. Yeah. Because those things last a long time. They do. They, they do. sent me one. Uh, they started sending them to me. And I got one called Creed. And it smelled so, so, so good. And then I like, I was like, oh, I'm going to go buy this. It was like $300. Oh, it was? It was. It was like, they sent me a $300. Well, we complained about eight bucks. I know. So they sent me one and it smelled really, really good. I ended up buying the actual full size because I really liked it. But, but that, that, uh, that one that they sent me lasted a long time. A long time. But I liked it so much that I went and bought it. They call them samples, but they're the size of a... Uh, decent perfume yeah they're good yeah i think that we should look at your some of your flowers i don't want to do a whole garden tour oh. yawn boring nobody i mean probably everybody wants to know about that but not me <laughs> i'm not going to stand there oh, look at this flower oh oh my isn't this a pretty petal oh honey you're not a <laughs> you're not a flower child no okay <laughs> i'm not but we'll we'll take some pictures of flowers okay um this this weather there's something really really special about spring and right before summer the smells the cut grass the the blooms everything the the night blooming jasmine and the rain and the rain everything mm -hmm. smells so good and everything is so green and and flowery and and beautiful and the weather isn't too hot and it's not too cold we should just follow the spring like, we'll just move all around the world. Where it's spring. Where it's spring. And then when, as soon as it gets summer, we'll move to another place where it's spring. Hey, that's a good idea. Shall we do that? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like, I can't even get you to San Francisco because you're the garden. When is this garden going to be done so we can go up to San Francisco? When I get the weeds out. Mom. And then I have to put new topsoil on. Oh, boy. Yeah. I don't see any weeds in your garden. I think that you're, like, a little maybe crazy. What? Yeah. Everybody loves a garden. I know, but I don't see any weeds out there. There's no weeds out there. You're oh, just, well, I, I think they're in your head. <laughs> okay, we can go look at my garden, but I'm not going to show you the part with the weeds. Okay, don't show me the part with the weeds. The ones weed. that are cleaned up. All right, yeah, well, you'll show me the, and then if I don't like what I see, then I can hire you a gardener. And he can no, come, and he I can don't just, want one. Why? And then he can. I've had two. I don't need any more. I don't want them. Why? <laughs> <laughs> because I don't listen. When I tell him not to cut the lawn with the weed eater, he still cuts the lawn with the weed eater down to the dirt. Mm, okay. All right, Mom. I don't see any weeds. Well, these are the. This is the bed with the weeds. Oh, it isn't. No. Yeah, I don't see. Any weeds. Are you getting hungry? I'm starving. Let's go get something to eat. Can we go to Red Maple? <laughs> we can go to Red Maple. Okay. I love you. I love you more. Bye. Bye, honey.